Welcome to Bible Quest. This is the Thursday edition, and I have Carl Ballard and Kenny Hemler with me. Hi, guys. How you doing? Good. Very good. Good to be with you tonight. Okay, so um, let's get right into it. We want to keep it short and brief and to the point and not bore people. But we do want to challenge you in the audience. If you have questions about things that we're bringing up and say, go to BibleQuest.org and then hit the contact button. And then you can contact us with uh, your comments, hate mail, whatever it is that we take it all. <laughs> and and if you send us hate mail, we'll read it. We'll read it. We're not ashamed of it. Um, of course, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm calling it hate mail. But I'm not, I don't think people are going to hate us for anything, but they, they might disagree with us. Okay. So tonight we have an interesting topic. I'm just going to let you take it over, Kenny. What are we talking about? All right. Well, uh, I'm going to talk about the the singularity of the church. You know, you can go up every street, especially here in Northeast Pennsylvania, where you know Drew and I are located, and the, the, where we worship. There's one street called Church Street, and there's how many different churches on that street? And the question is, is that how it's supposed to be? Is that what scripture teaches? Are there numerous churches? Can we all practice the way we want and expect to go to heaven? And I think that's a, an important question that we need to ask and look at and look for the truth. And as with all our shows, where do we turn? We need to turn to scripture with that. So the question that we, I think we could start with is denominations. Is that biblical or are the, do we see denominations in scripture? Were there many different types of churches doing different things or was there one initial church put in place? So I, I think that's the important place to start, I'd say. So how did we get here? How did we get? I know growing up, my people would say, well, what are you? And I'd say, well, I don't know. I go to a Bible church. I guess I'm kind of, I guess I'm Protestant or a Baptist. We, we worship with a Baptist church down the street. I'd say, oh, I'm a Baptist. And I never thought anything of that. People would say, oh, I'm a Catholic. I'm a Pentecostal, but aren't we just Christians? Aren't shouldn't we just be Christians? I I don't see Baptists in Scripture. I don't see Presbyterians in Scripture. I don't I don't see that. So I think that for me made me have to take a hard look at what Scripture said. Is there numerous minute, churches or is there wait, one wait, church? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. John the Baptist wasn't he the first Baptist? <laughs> that's that's what some. <laughs> Some like to say, but I've heard yeah. that. I've actually <laughs> heard that. Yeah. But that yeah. Exactly. That King, the King James is what gave that title. He's really John the Baptizer. Baptizer. You're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not in right. identifying as a particular. Look, I, I, I'm sorry, I interrupted you, Carl. That's why I was just going to say, I'm going to tell you something that helped me early on. I Many of you know that I came out of atheism, really. And, and one of the things that caused me to, to get atheism as, a, as an answer was, seeing all the confusion of all these different groups that claim to be false and bind and nothing we're saying the same thing. So we think there must not be any truth there. But as I began to read through the New Testament and see the unity of, of the revelation that came from God, one of the things that struck me was how many different Jewish denominations there were when Jesus came. He didn't join with any of them. He, he corrected all of them with the one word of truth that they should have been following. I think that's a very important thing to note. If Jesus saw there were four seasons, and seasons, and scenes of all these different groups, and yet he said, I'm going to do the will of my Father in heaven. And that's what yeah, he was right. encouraging them to do. And there's so much around just Jesus alone, the singularity, I am the way, one, right. one singular way, right? He tells Peter, on this rock, I will build my church. And ch church is singular. Every time he refers mm -hmm. to the church, it's singular. It's not numerous in numerous ways. And, and I know what exactly what will happen. Somebody that's a Baptist or somebody from a denomination, and, and they mean what they'll say. Well, yeah, there is one way. It's Jesus. We, we, we preach Jesus. Well, do you? Because mm -hmm. I, I like to use the eunuch. If you go to Acts and you use the eunuch, and what was he preached? He was preached Jesus. Right. And what did he do as they went down the road? There's water. What hinders me? So that's obviously part of being preached Jesus. And people say, well, no, 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 no. No, it's not. Right. Or you'll hear people say, you know, it doesn't matter. We may do things a different way, but we all believe in Jesus. Mm. That's no. Right. And I know I think Carl's made the reference numerous times. And we always come back to this. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not the things I say, the things I command. Right. 
it's not what you want to pick and choose. It's why are you not doing that one thing that God, that Paul constantly was correcting the churches on? You know, we see that in Galatians, that one gospel, right? So Jesus, also, he says, you weren't baptized in yeah, yeah. following after man. Right. I want to go to that scripture in a second, Carl, and maybe Kenny, we're going to bring it up, but you, you've got me thinking about something. I just lost my thought. Thanks. I lost my thought. That's not unusual for me to lose my thought. I got thoughts all over the house here, but I just, they disappear. <laughs> go ahead, continue then while I try yeah, to retain what, what I was what, thinking. One other thing, too, I always think of is how do we think we have the the authority to do? You know, and it tells us he, he he purchased the church with his blood. It's his church, singular. He purchased it with his blood. So uh, and all this comes together, right? Do my commandments, do as I say. It's under his authority. And we think we can substitute and change and add and subtract whatever we want and that's a, that's a dangerous spot to be in. I wouldn't want to be in that and standing in front of him. There's no justification for that. In fact, you, you helped me. Now I know what I was going to say. Jesus didn't say, if you love me, you'll believe in me. He said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. You're right. Well, I thought all you have to, because most of the denominational world, no matter what church you, you pick up, the majority of them are just on belief only. You only have to believe. You can do anything else, but as long as you believe and, and accept Jesus in your heart, that's it. But if, but even within those denominations that have that main thought, then they have all their different practices that they all choose to pick up because men invented them over the decades, over the years. But Jesus said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Right. And, and, and Carl, that what you were talking about. Yeah, Jesus was always criticizing the, the Jewish leaders because they were not keeping the commandments of the Lord. They were keeping the commandments of their own traditions. Yeah. Which is exactly and it was their traditions. Yeah. And, and, and it was their traditions which separated them into different denominations. Exactly. And that's what we have today, Kenny, right? I mean, the traditions yeah. of the denominations. Was, what is a denomination? It's a separation from something else, like a dollar bill. A dollar is, you can deny a, a penny, a hundred denominations in the dollar, each one. Then you got dimes and you got quarters and nickels. And so these churches are different coins. Now, show me in the scriptures where the Lord said, I'm going to build a number of churches and you can go to any one. In fact, you're too young, Kenny, but I recall when I was younger, a younger Christian that said, Go to the church of your choice. That was the ad on TV. Remember that, Carl? Oh, yeah. Go. To, it doesn't matter what church you go to. Go to the church of your choice. Where does it say that in the scriptures? There was only one church in the scriptures. I'm sorry. Go, you were going to bring something up. <laughs> what were you going to say, Carl? You were going to bring up a scripture. I was thinking of Matthew 28 when he gave the Great Commission. He said to go out in verse 19 and 20 and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. He said, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. He's teaching a, a way of heart. He's teaching to observe. He's not teaching necessarily all the things, but he's teaching the desire to do all the things that the Lord commands. And that's what makes a true disciple. What does the Lord say? That's what I'm going to do. Not what does my pastor said, not what do I feel like doing, not what have my parents always done. What has the Lord said? That's what I'm gonna do. Right. All right. So if we if we continue this next week, maybe we should bring it on again next week, because there's a, there's a nice chart that you had made, Ken. And uh, I've got some slides. I have a series of five classes. It's called Finding the Kingdom of Heaven. And it goes through what you're talking about. First, how the Lord's church was established and when. Is that the kingdom? Yeah, according to Jesus, it is. Well, then how did it go from that one church to, do you know how many there are, Kenny? How many denominations? You're you, not when you look it up, you could find a number of numbers. 
I've seen 45,000, I've seen 30 some thousand, either way, even if you want to knock it down and say there's three, that's, that's 3,000, that's 2,999, that's too many. There's, 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 one. there's 30,000 to 40, so like you said, yep. based on 9,000 primary denominations. Yeah. Well, all right. So let's just say the 9,000, one church to 9,000, and you know, that only started in what the last 500 years, right? Right. The, the amount of churches that grew was started in the last 500 years. I'm, I could be off on that by a, a century or so, but it was, it's recent. Anyway. It's just, it's amazing. I mean, first Corinthians one, 10 through 13, right? Now I plead with you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all speak the same thing and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and the same judgment. Does that sound and that's what I know Carl brought up before that like, it's just, they're, they want to say it's okay that they're all doing this, different things we're all going to get, but does that what the Bible says? That that seems pretty clear to me right there. That there'd be no divisions among you. That's a division. If, if you think that it's okay that I think I need, need to be baptized, but you don't think it, but as long as we believe in Jesus, it's all okay. That's, 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 that's the workaround. That's how the, the ecumenical workaround is. Right. Well, we'll just agree to disagree. Right. There should be no disagreements. No. Following the Lord, not one want and you want, we'll just we'll say it's all okay. I don't that, have that any is. scripture in my mind. I thought you were going there. You might have read part of it, but the one I'm thinking of is where uh, Paul was rebuking them because someone said, I am Apollo. Yeah, so I am that's Paul, where that's going. I am of Christ. Right. That's what Carl brought that up before. That's why I stopped. But that, yeah, that's where he was going. Like he's saying, it has not, it's, it's Christ. It's one. It's they, already, they, they already started denominating. Right. And he rebuked them for it. And he exactly. rebuked them for denominating. Is that a word? Yeah, it's Corinthians chapter one, which is 10 and following where that argument comes in. Yeah. Repeat the, repeat the reference again. It's Corinthians chapter one. Really, verses 10 through the chapter there, like the whole chapter, the whole book is about their divisions. Um, yeah. But they're not. They, they're they, not. I belong to the Church of Paul. I belong to the Church of Christ. I belong to the Church of Apollos. No. There's, oh, that's another topic we can bring up. The Lord's Church really doesn't have a name. <laughs> right. right. It doesn't have an official name. If you want to pick a name, which one would you pick? Well, Church of Christ is a popular one in, in our circles, but that's that's not the most popular one in in, in the New Testament. The most popular one is Church of God. Mm -hmm. Right. So why don't we go with that one, or the Household of God? Right. I'll save this for next week. I'll talk about what does it mean, Church of Christ. Right. That's that's. We'll save that for next week because we're getting we're past our little bit of time. But Kenny, can you bring us back next week with your chart and we'll go over that? We'll share the screen. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. And what we want to do is invite people. We're just teasing you a little bit with some of this, but we want to invite people to challenge us to see where you no, know, there's supposed to be a lot of different church organizations. I want to know that from the scriptures. We talked about it. I think a little. A little couple couple sessions ago about the church constitutions. Where did that come from? So these are all right. man made traditions. Yep. All right, guys. I, I want to want to thank you for that topic, uh, Kenny. And let's 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 go over those slides that you you had made with that chart. I think that'd be very impressive because that'll then show us some of the history. Yeah. Sounds good. All right, guys, thanks a lot for being here. Anyone in the audience, we're glad you were able to listen to us or watch us uh, on whatever channel you're watching us. Go to BibleQuest.org, contact us, give us your feedback, and let us know what else you'd like us to talk about. Guys, have a great week. Thank you. you too.